Hey y'all, what's going on? Hope all is well. Hope you're having a wonderful day, okay? We're going to get right into some messages. This is a spirit reading. So we're going to see what messages your babies have for you and your person today, okay? <clears throat> what we got going on? What we got going on? Diamond and pearl. I have a boy or a girl. You can manifest what you want, okay? You can manifest what you want. Um, for those of you who don't know that, when I was pregnant with my boy, I knew I was having a boy. Like I knew in my soul and my spirit, and I just kept saying, "It's a boy, it's a boy, it's a boy," and boom. It was a boy. <laughs> Let me pull a few more. Let's see what else. It's almost like some of you could have like really just known certain things even before you knew certain things. Like you may not know how you knew, but you did. Like it was just embedded in your dna <clears throat> look definitely boy energy out here i am healthy and strong so if you're worried and also i'm getting you will be healthy and strong during the pregnancy especially if your last pregnancy was a scare or previous pregnancies or you had trouble getting pregnant um you will have a healthy baby Happily ever after. Happily ever after energy, okay? So it's like after all of that, after the long journey. Let me turn this down some. After the long, drawn-out journey, you're finally, like, receiving the things that you have been praying for or affirming to yourself, okay? You are pregnant now or will be soon. Okay, and pay attention to your dreams. You, your person could be, you know, communicating through the dream state. Miracle babies. Okay, so like I said before, this you could have thought that you couldn't get pregnant, or you know, you were afraid because of um, past pregnancies, or for some of you, you may have had abortion and you didn't know how your body was going to react now to babies and spirit saying everything will be fine okay you have known me before as a male in this lifetime all right so this is like granddaddy energy coming through very strongly um it could even be a um it could be a father it could be an uncle or a brother um but this energy is like very protective over you um they will come back through you, okay? That's why for some of you, you may be having twins because <laughs> both bloodlines fighting to come back through you. You're the chosen one for some of you that I'm talking to. You know what I'm saying? So you got both bloodlines, the masculine and the feminine bloodlines trying to come back through you, okay? And that's why a lot of you are having twins and stuff right now, okay? Look, I can't make this up. You can still have kids. So for, for those of you who may have been scared but know that you're still like getting a period and stuff like that mm -hmm. mommy be patient with daddy be patient with daddy worth the wait daddy wants a junior definitely big boy energy coming out daddy wants you to have his last name mm -hmm. Daddy is heaven sent. Okay, daddy coming through. Boy energy coming through. What else? You'll have more than enough to take care of us. And that's going under. It will be worth the wait. And you will be pregnant soon. I have your pretty eyes. Oh. Daddy wants a daughter with you. So that's boy and girl energy coming out. Huge payout on the way. Okay. Y'all will take care of each other. Oh, It's like a nurturing energy. 
some of you could be seeing like them little videos about you know the couples and like and stuff like that and spirit is saying get excited because it's your time okay <laughs> i'm a lot like little you i am a lot like little you twins running your family that that be one to come out every time y'all twins running your family child so um you will probably be having a boy and a girl or like pick what you want would you rather have a boy or a girl um Literally, you can manifest. You are the co-creator of your life. You can manifest what you want if you know and you believe that you can. And trust yourself that you can. Okay? Your light shines bright. Mommy is heaven sent. Okay? So, both of y'all heaven sent now. This sent from heaven. Yeah. Y'all both have that um, earth angel energy. Y'all both are earth angels. Y'all both have a big mission here together. And together, y'all are powerful. No more delays. It's time to take action. Look, a boy and a girl, okay? So that answers the question, okay? A boy and a girl is coming through, all right? We're going to pull some, some of these cards to see. We're going to put some um, romance angels on it. Let's see what you want to add to that. This is a healthy and strong baby. So before I put this, uh, for some of you, you will be getting pregnant soon. All right. Um, daddy wants a boy or a girl with you. Remember, take what resonate. If you're in a same sex relationship, I guess the masculine is the one who wants the baby to be a junior. So, you know, take what resonate for you. Okay. Like, you know, we in 2024 make it fit. Don't try to make it, don't try to force the fit, but switch the switch the roles around, okay? Masculine and feminine is just the energy. But there's boy and girl energy here for those who may be trying to adopt or get IVF or um, if you've been having trouble getting pregnant um, through whatever the case may be, okay? Spirit is saying you still are able to get pregnant, okay? Take what resonates for you. I'm gonna put these up there. Diamond slippers. All I can do is offer you my love. I like, I like prints with the color purple. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Uh huh. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoy, enjoying this moment fully. <clears throat> Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking um, the steps you are guided to take. And romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring worth the way past life relationship it is safe for you to love okay yeah worth the wait divine timing is at work in your love life right now okay divine timing is at work i'm ready to make things happen for you but there's this person that's wanting to interact with you that's wanting to propose to you that is highly attracted to you and everything about you um divine feminine for the divine feminists that I'm talking to, it's your softness. It's like, can I call you Rose? <laughs> Excuse my voice right now, but it's like, cause you're sweet like a flower that blooms. Yeah, um, they feel like you're gentle. And in this present moment, if they're, they're highly attracted to you, I feel like they are now being more present because I feel like they were too focused on the past or too worried about the present, I mean, the um, future, and now they're, like, in this present moment, wanting to, like, engage with you, wanting to be next to you, um, their inner child feels safe with you, um, they have these romantic feelings, um, that they, they always had these feelings, but they kind of suppressed them, um, because they were, you know, their inner child was not healed, and, you know, the, the, little bad boy or bad girl and them wanted something different you know they weren't ready for the good life they thought it was 
They weren't ready for the peaceful life because they thought it would be boring, you know? They weren't ready. Just like at one point, you weren't ready. You were still running running around, you know? But some of you take what resonates now. Um, I'm speaking to multiple people, so take what resonates. But I feel like at this point, the energy that you both share with each other, like, is so gentle and soft. Like, I feel like you will really nurture your masculine. Um, you will nurture your feminine. Um, it's like being patient with each other. Um, because this is well worth the wait, okay? Even the spirit baby said that. And you got to look, a boy and a girl coming. And I feel like your person is recognizing that y'all have had past lives together. They have been reminded. They have been shown, okay? Let's put some tarot on it. What else? What's this attraction? Okay. Eight, um, three of swords, okay, with the high priestess. There has been some sort of heartbreak energy here, okay, that has stopped this from coming together or from keeping y'all from attracting each other. And I feel like that has come to a end, okay? Look, or this is coming to an end now with this three of wands, all right? Because this person is now planning to come towards you. But without you, there's great sadness, okay? It will heal within time. So I feel like this person is feeling how you have felt about them when they first, when y'all first separated. And for some of you, this was at their intimacy. Some of you may not have never had intimacy with your person, and that's fine. Um, or sex or whatever, because, you know, intimacy is something different in type and in, in this whole. But for some of you, for those of you, when you finally exchange, I feel like that's when the real feelings came, you know? And um, in the beginning, like the feminine energy, whether you're male or female, you were in the feminine energy if the other person was the runner. When they ran from the connection, it was because they were afraid to change. And it broke your heart. And there was many times you had to mend your, your heart because they weren't ready. But you also wasn't ready either. It was still some things that you needed to learn or go through. Because you're asking for certain things. You're affirming to the universe that you want this or you want that. <clears throat> you had to become that. You had to be ready for that. And that's why your destiny and your mission is yours alone. Because you done the work to get to where you need to be. Nobody can't take that from you. They wouldn't even be able to hold the weight of it. You understand what I'm saying? You you learned like you it, you look light, but you heavy though type energy. <laughs> um, but this person is now feeling that sadness. Okay, um, they're learning to let go of the past so that they can focus on the now. Okay, they're letting go of the past so that they can focus on the now. Okay, and it's been a while. This person is now trusting their intuition more. Okay, um, look, meditating, going within so that they can trust their intuition, um, learning to discover their soul's desire. Okay. Yeah, this person is like in the energy of just figuring things out, okay? And that's why we got worth the wait here. This is like something that's about to transform your life. But first, this person is like, they woke, okay? They're finally realizing it's a lot. Like, they, they are the reason why they sabotage this, you know? They, they're the reason why this relationship kind of got stuck or whatever. But it's, no, it's not to blame yourself for this. Just know that you had to learn some, you know, certain lessons that y'all couldn't um, teach each other. Yeah, it's like some sort of throat chakra activation that's about to happen now. And I feel like this is a long time coming when you start to get sore throats or your throat start getting um, choked up a lot and stuff like that. It's because it's something that you're needing to say and get off your chest that you've been holding on for too long. And it's time to speak up. I feel like they're about to speak up, but they kind of don't know what to say. Like, you make them stutter. Like, <laughs> yeah, you make them, like, trip over their words. Like, things that they would normally talk about or discuss with somebody else easily. It's like, <laughs> they become shy around you. Mm. They become shy around you. But this is well worth the wait. 
okay? Planning for the long term, abundance from past choices, pride and success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. So they're coming up with some sort of plan. They're going within, all right? But they also are coming towards you, okay? They will, they're coming towards you for sure. But right now they're figuring out how to go about their next plans and their next action. Healing from past trauma could even be a past engagement or past marriage. Um, it was a lot to happen in the past, but all of that has to get cleared out. It had to get to a point of no return with these karmic people because it's certain people that is not meant to go with you and your person to your next level. They cannot come. And, you know, that may have hurt your heart so dearly. Like, especially if you had to cut, cut off your family and friends at one point in time, you know what I'm saying, to better yourself. Whether they understood that or not. People going to talk what they gonna say okay hit the pedal to that mother like that break okay you had to do what was best for you okay and now your masculine or your person is going through that same thing okay they right behind you they healing they on the journey too trust me but they're ready they're going to move forward so after this process it's like right now they're going through this this process of healing and Figuring out, you know, their their life purpose and what they truly desire for themselves without hearing nobody else's opinion in their ear. Like, oh, you shouldn't do this or you should do that or, you know what I'm saying? Like, they finally figuring out what to do for themselves and that's why it's best to kind of like just give them the space to do that, okay? Because this person already knows in this moment that you're the person that they want to be with. And that's another reason why they're sad. Because they know that they made a wrong choice. And they know how you must have felt. And that, it does not feel good. Like, up at night, crying and stuff like that. And it was certain people that wanted to see this for you. But your person is not one of them. They didn't necessarily want to see you hurt. They weren't intentionally trying to hurt you. They, Their feelings and emotions were suppressed due to lack of spiritual maturity and spiritual knowledge. The people, the Jezebel energy that this person has chose, whether it was male or female, incubus or succubus, this person has chose that person and, and stayed in that energy for a while because these people were trying to keep this person in a low vibration, um, enabling them to stay in their... In, in their lower vibrations okay but with with you they would have had to change and grow and become the best version of themselves so they ran they weren't ready for that yet and now that they are growing and ascending now they running from them karmics because no like imagine waking up and being able to see a person's soul versus just seeing the beauty on the outside and you realize you was laying next to the wicked witch of the West. Hmm. That shit is like, ill. Like, why? Why was I around this long? This person is able to see through people now. Them chakras is clearing up and balancing, baby. With the chariot energy. Big, tar um, big Pisces, big Taurus. I was about to say Big Taurus, but Big Pisces and um, Big Cancer, okay? Y'all could be about to move together, okay? This is yin-yang energy um, becoming balanced, um, and this is going to happen quickly. This, this will happen before you know it, okay? Because everybody is in different stages and phases, all right? So don't think that you're behind, like you're right on time for your journey, okay? And be grateful, like clap for others while, you know, they get in their rewards. Because if you see it happening around you, all of a sudden, suddenly you start to see all these engagement videos and stuff like that. It's because it's about to happen for you, boo. So be happy for others while you wait in your turn. Ooh, ooh, they got a lot to say. Yeah, this person felt like they were... In the past, they were a player, okay? Even if they was in a commitment with a Jezebel, that's why they chose a Jezebel because they could still have, like, free range to kind of just be in this selfish energy, do whatever they want to do, still run the streets or whatever, um, take what resonates for you. Um, 
And they were very selfish at one point in time. But I feel like this person wants a new beginning from that. <laughs> They're moving on quickly from that energy with this dreamer, which is also like the fool energy. A new start. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside and take a leap of faith, okay? They're seeing the vision now and they're seeing it clear. A lot of them are astral travelers because look like, you see how the door is to the universe and it led them to somewhere else? Like this, some of these people are skilled time travelers. They had a glimpse of what the future would be like with you, how it would feel to be with you. It's like some of them, some of them dream about you. They want to show up in your dream. <laughs> they want to be around you because they're now free from this karmic energy that has attached and latched themselves on to this masculine energy and was trying to hijack their spirit. So anytime you try to call upon your person or they try to call upon you, the wicked witch of the West shows up. Mm -mm, not anymore. They're freeing themselves. <laughs> From these karmic ties and these karmic people, places, and things. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Some of y'all got some spare babies on the way. They want this new beginning. I feel like they see it now. And some of them are trying to rush towards it, okay? They're willing to win you at all costs, okay? Because this is the life, this is their dream life. This is what they, now that they are awakening, they're starting to realize that this is what they wanted all along. You're everything that they ever wanted all along. But they just couldn't see it like that because their, their wants and needs were different. We all were unhealed at one point, you know? Yeah, yeah. Queen of Pentacles to the star energy. Okay. Generous, practical, gracious. Could be material, something materialistic coming towards you. Yeah, something is about to speed up. Because even on this card, you see um, the bunny. So we got all the signs out here. But Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The ability to make anything more beautiful. A love of family and home. Be practical about how you proceed. A love of art and beauty. A sensible approach. So they're trying to approach you in a sensible way. But they're definitely um, um, thinking about this leap of faith. This is happening. This is not um, a matter if it's going to happen. This is like when. And for some of you, it's going to happen quicker than other. And it all depends on how, how much you heal. And at this time... Um, it's good to continue to focus on yourself and not focus too much on what your person is doing. Okay. Because your person is over there healing. Have faith. The future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. The light at the end of the tunnel. This person will make the effort to come towards you. They will take the steps that they are being guided to take. So that they can heal this connection. Okay. This person is well aware of everything. They're, I'm telling you. They're aligned with you. This is alignment energy. What else? This is alignment. Let Renewal. I can't make this up y'all. Okay. We got the seven of pentacles. With the renewal card. Okay. We have reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. Clarity on your life purpose and your heart. You know what to do. I promise you. This person has healed a lot. They have healed a lot of their childhood traumas. Okay. Stuff that they didn't even recognize that was still relevant to them. They thought they got over it. They thought they suppressed it and wouldn't think about it. But a lot of things still were triggering it. And then here you come. Dum, 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 like, hey, I'm trying to heal. I started my spiritual journey. I'm trying to become a better version of myself. And they like, they like, oh, that sounds good. But they weren't ready for that. And now, during the separation, they started to heal. This person was never going to go too far away from you. Or stay that way too long. They want to renewal. They want to invest in this connection. Okay, they want to plant their seeds in your garden. 
okay? Because they know it would be rewarded. They know it would be fruitful, okay? This person sees the vision now, okay, with this sun card, okay? A time of great joy, success, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities, plans that work out perfectly, gratitude to the divine, okay? <laughs> this person is grateful for you. They're grateful for everything, and all of these romantic feelings just started blooming out of, out of nowhere, they could see themselves being in a relationship with you. This person will wait for you. But you know that song, I Will Wait For You by Tim's? That just popped up. Mm hmm This person will wait for you, just like how you waited for them. So now is the time to figure out exactly what you want so they can manifest for you, okay? Because it's happening. Look, this person is coming towards you. The end of challenging times. Things are looking up. A welcome relief. Finding your way to a peaceful place. The end of depression or an illness. Travel or relocation. Where y'all going? Matter of fact, don't tell nobody. Shh. But this person is on their way to come get you, okay? You know swans mate for life. This person is in the energy of trying to fix things, of trying to fix their life, to, to get their life on the right track. And they're very passionate about it, okay? We have enthusiastic, optimistic, creative. They're a little impatient, though. But um, you're about to get some sort of news of an exciting opportunity, allowing your creativity to soar, do things that fuel your passion finish what you start so somebody is about to start something like because i feel like this connection just was unfinished um bryson tiller let him know listen to that but um yeah this person is feeling eager to come towards you all right they're very passionate and I feel like they're they're impatient with themselves. Like they want to get this thing happening now, okay? <laughs> Cuz a lot of them did not know what to say. It, it could be you that's a little impatient as well, but spirit is saying have patience um because this is worth the wait and everything is about to unfold for you. This emperor is on their way to come towards you, okay? This leader is ready to step up and take the lead. Okay, because they have gone through a major transformation. There's a lot of regret of the past. They are actively manifesting you. They feel like they have the tools that it takes. Like they can make this connection work. They feel like they're worthy of this connection now. Okay, and they're coming towards you. Ready or not. Say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.